nomination is entitled, as a result of the Idaho Republican Presidential Nomination Caucus, for one, each presidential candidate's delegation, two, the additional pledge delegation, and three, the delegation at large. And I'll explain that when we put the list up. The convention chair shall open the floor for additional nominations for that delegation, which also must be submitted in the form of a full slate consistent with the number to which each delegation is entitled. Each member of the candidate's delegation shall be selected from his list of names as recorded with the Idaho Republican Party. Regions shall make nominations for all slates of delegates and alternates upon a roll call in numerical order. Each region may one pass, two yield to another region, three nominate one slate of delegates and alternates for each presidential candidate's delegation, uncommitted delegation, and at large delegation. At the close of the nominating, all counties and legislative districts shall be polled. Voting shall continue until such time as one slate of nominees for each delegation receives a majority vote of the convention. The nominating committee shall consist of the members that I mentioned. So, please put up the slide. This is my report. We met yesterday, the full nominating committee, uh, minus one that was absent. The first 26 names on the list are the names submitted by Romney for president. They are, by rule, entitled to provide 80% of the 32 delegate names going forward to the National Convention. Those are the names that were submitted. The next six down, the 27, 28, and 29 slot are automatic delegates by national rule. Our state committee man, Damon Watkins, our national committee woman, Cindy Moyle, and the state chairman. By, by national party rule, the national man and the national woman are the national committee man and woman through this convention. So whoever you would elect as your new national committee woman today, she doesn't become the national committee woman beyond Cindy until after the national convention is done. But in any event, those are automatics. And then whoever is elected in my position uh, will be in that delegation. So that left three names to the nominating committee to select as delegates. And the nominating committee selected the three names that are 30, 31, and 32. In addition, alternates were selected. We'll scroll down to that. Again, the first 26 alternates were provided by rule by the Romney for President campaign. The other six were determined by the nominating committee through a vote by secret ballot. And we had a few ties and had to do this a couple times, but those are the six alternates recommended by the nominating committee. That's the slate. Um, I am not a delegate, so I would need a motion from a member of the committee or another delegate to accept this slate. Is there a motion of that effect? There's an adoption motion over here and a second over here. Okay, by rule I have to ask, open the floor to whether there's any other full slate nominations from any of the regions. Yes, question? Would you like me to read the names? Okay, we can do that. From the Romney for President nominations, these are the delegates. Leanne Collier, Heidi Cranny, Gayan DeMordot, Roya Guerin, Travis Hawks, Abby Hawks, Jeffrey Johnson, Charlotte Lewis, Jeremy Litzter, Lieutenant Governor Little, Tom Luna, Danny Miller, S. Carl, I'm sorry, Nicolaisen, Stephen Nicolaisen, Governor Butch Otter, Lori Otter, Ty Palmer, Sandy Patano, U.S. Senator Jim Risch, Jason Risch, Josh Tolman, Frank Vandersloot, Belinda Vandersloot, Tracy Wasden, Dane Watkins, and Nick Robinson. The three automatics are whoever is elected as the state chairman today, Damon Watkins, it should say Cindy Moyle in 29. It is Cindy Moyle. She is the National Committee woman through the, elect, the, uh, the uh, National Convention. Norm Semenko, Shirley Taylor, and Ruthie Johnson. Those are the 32 delegates that have been recommended by the uh, 
in mass by the uh, and through the implosion. Alternates, the 26 that were received from the Romney for President campaign, Vicki Rich, Cindy Luna, Lawrence Wasden, Doyle Beck, Tyler Hurst, Brad Christensen, Chanel Dixon, Dorian Knight, Debbie Field, Marcia Bjorn, Reed DeMordock, Reed Hansen, Debbie Critchfield, Dennis Johnson, Jessica Litster, Venish Manning, sorry if I pronounced it wrong, Ron Nate, Dr. Fahim Rahim, Jack Riggs, Jeff Sidaway, Travis Thompson, Ginger Watkins, Lance Clow, Laura Johnson, Brian Johns, Lamont Foster, and the six alternates selected by the committee yesterday for the large Dave Radford, Mike Duff, Rod Beck, Ron Lee Lindsman, Joanne Wood, Walter Steed. Those are the names. And I'll add parenthetically, we had in the neighborhood of 25 to 30 names submitted for these nine last spots, the three delegates and the six alternates, and we interview, ask all of them to present and uh, or have someone present on their behalf before we voted. Those are the names. We had a motion from the chairman of Ada County. Was there a second for that? I believe there was. And by rule, I open the floor to additional full slate nominations from any of the seven regions. Any of the region chairs have a nomination from their region. Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. All those in favor of adopting the slate of national delegates, vote aye. Aye. All those opposed? Thank you. Okay, we're at 1130. Parliamentarians advised me that we conducted the vote incorrectly, so uh, by rule we do need to poll all of the counties and legislative districts, correct? So we will run through the roll, county uh, chairs and legislative district chairs, we're going to give you two minutes to talk with your delegation uh, because we're going to poll you as to uh, your vote, and that's how this vote must be conducted by rule. Yes, please keep it down, let's have some order. Uh, Mr. Clark, you can, or, or a motion to suspend the rules. You've had a unanimous consent request to allow a voice vote. Is there objection? There's objection. Yeah, we would need a motion to suspend the rules if you want to do that. There's a motion to suspend the rules to allow a voice vote. And there's a second. That's not debatable. It will require two-thirds to suspend the rules to allow a voice vote. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? The ayes have it. So we will do the voice vote again to keep this proper procedurally. All those in favor of the slate of candidates recommended by the nominating committee to serve as delegates and alternates, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed? No. Thank you. The ayes have it. Appreciate the good work of the nominating committee and uh, the Romney for President campaign and all those who submitted their names. Let me also tell you that in addition, and I mentioned this yesterday, to the 32 delegates, and the 32 alternates. If a delegate is unable to go, it will be up to, in the case of the 26, for the Romney campaign to fill that with one of their alternates. And if there's a, a vacancy in the alternates, they'll fill that. On the other side with the six, if there's a vacancy in the delegates, the alternate will move up. If there's a vacancy in the alternates, then the executive committee of the state party will fill that spot. So if you continue to be interested from either of those sides, you need to be in contact with the Romney for President campaign and with the state party, because I think you can see if a delegate can't go and you move a uh, alternate, they're gonna have to fill that alternate spot. More to the point, we also have 64 guests, official guests, that we can have as part of our delegation in Tampa. If you're interested in being a guest, you'll be part of the delegation, you'll be at all the social functions, you'll be bused to the convention hall, you'll be able to sit in the convention hall, you won't be able to go to the floor and vote or to substitute as an alternate would, but every other 
uh, privilege, if you will, you would have. And we've had those guests in the past, and they've enjoyed the convention immensely. If you're interested in doing that, you need to do one of two things. Preferably, be at the meeting in room 119, room 119, right down here, out the hall to the left, at 415. It's a mandatory meeting, unless you can't be there, then let Shirley Taylor, and Shirley's over here with the elephant shirt again, let Shirley know that you want to be on that guest list so she can get you uh, properly credentialed. Yes? Yes, that'll be next. Yes, that'll be next. Thank you. Okay, so are there, everybody knows where Shirley is. If you're interested in being a guest, show up at 415. We'd love to have 128 people uh, going to the convention from Idaho. That would be great. Okay, the uh, slate of presidential electors for the Electoral College that were nominated by the uh, nominating committee are the following four people. Jason Risch, Travis Hawks, Damon Watkins, and Teresa Luna. Is there a motion to adopt those four presidential electors? Who stated the motion? And a second here. All those in favor say aye. Aye. And those opposed? Okay, that concludes the committee reports. Rusty is going, the reward you get for doing this so expeditiously is that lunch is going to be early and it is ready. Rusty is going to give us the directions for lunch. Okay, we're a little limited on our seating again. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to dismiss by sections the delegates in a 20 to 30 minute interval starting with the left hand of the stage you guys will be dismissed for lunch and you need to make sure that you have both of your ticket stubs to get into lunch if you do not have your ticket stubs then it's a, a, a by cash system uh, are there any questions on how we're going to do lunch across this, uh, right across the atrium foyer in the uh, cafeteria second floor can't miss it I do not know the cost. That ticket, both sections, top and bottom, not just half of it. The question was asked there are elevators, so yep, you guys got it. Going ahead, head up there in 30 minutes, it's gonna be Everyone must be back here at 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. We are going to start back up at 1 o'clock. It is now 11.30. We are going to start at 1 o'clock.